Hi, this is Russell Hughes from Hughes Real Estate. Uh, today we are going to do a slightly different video. Uh, there's been a request of me to uh, discuss emergency preparedness. Uh, given the flooding in Houston, the continued power outages in Puerto Rico, the wildfires in California, it seems like uh, the basic emergency preparedness should be something that uh, everyone wants to take care of so that they don't have to think about it again and make sure that their families are taken care of in a God forbid circumstance. If you live on the Gulf Coast, uh, the items that I'm going to recommend to you are probably in your hurricane bag. And if you live in California, it's probably in your earthquake bag. Uh, in recent times, uh, people have discussed uh, prepping and emergency preparedness, and it's gotten down a, a very strange rabbit hole. But uh, anyone who lives in disaster-prone areas, this is just their daily lives. They have this bag available and ready. And in my opinion, everyone should have uh, these items. They're very inexpensive. They're very readily available on Amazon right now. And they are extremely effective. Uh, the first item I'm going to talk about is called the Sawyer Water Filter. And that is this right here. It's called the Sawyer Mini. It is rated for... 100,000 gallons of water. If you live in an environment like I do in North Carolina, where there are streams everywhere you turn, all you need is one of these and the bladder that comes with it, and you are pretty much good to go. Just an FYI for those of you who don't know, uh, you can live 21 days without food, but you will expire in three days without water. So kind of critically important. This Sawyer, and I will annotate everything at the bottom and give links for Amazon, runs approximately $20, comes with the bladder, comes with a back flush, comes with instructions. There's plenty of uh, other videos uh, explicitly about this. It's a very popular item amongst through hikers and uh, on the Appalachian Trail and the Continental Divide Trail and the Pacific Crest Trail. It just works. Once again, 100,000 gallons for $20. Very challenging to beat that. So that's item number one. If you don't want to get a water filter, these are Aquamira tabs. Again, I will leave links in the description box. And these go into water, uh, one liter, and you wait 30 minutes and you have filtered or treated water. So once again, these can be obtained for, I think, $7 or $10 per packet, and uh, I believe they come in a packet of 30. Uh, don't quote me on that though. Again, that's why I'll annotate everything. So these are another good option. Um, the CNOC is just a bladder. It's just a way to hold water. I think these run about $15, and they're very, very packable. I recommend having a good quality knife. This is a from Mora. It's their companion. It runs approximately $15 on Amazon. This one has a fire steel attached to it with some um, inner tube from a bike tire. Very fancy around here. The Mora companion. This has been uh, very, very popular amongst hikers, bushcrafters, uh, people who go out in the woods, and once again, extremely inexpensive option right here. Next, we're going to move on to, and I apologize for my camera work today, it's going to be a little dicey, uh, lights. This is, I think, approximately 600 lumens. I'm not going to uh, shine on the, uh, on the camera. Just trust me, it's a very good uh, quality light. I think it ran me $10 on Amazon It's by Cree. It's got a Cree LED light bulb in it, runs on a AA battery. You have no idea how valuable light is until it's not there. Then you will understand the value. This is a much more expensive option. This is from Surefire. This is a headlamp and it is adjustable. It's 150 lumens. It runs on CR123s. Um, it is very nice to have a headlamp and there are considerably cheaper options than this on Amazon as well. I recommend a little first aid kit with 
Uh, this has got some um, these uh, toilet pucks that uh, can be utilized for toilet paper, moleskin for your feet. Uh, it's got uh, bandages. It's got some eye wash. I uh, had laser surgery on my eyes so they get dry. And also some um, of those aforementioned uh, Aquamira tabs. Just the basics, um, but it is critical to have these if you should need to evacuate for whatever reason. Um, little cuts can turn into very big situations very, very quickly. Uh, you don't realize just how much you use triple uh, antibiotic cream until you don't have it. So this is next is something called heat. Sorry, this is heat. This is for an alcohol stove, which I'll show you right now. It's a $20 alcohol stove. This is made out of titanium, so it's extremely light. Uh, you just put a pot on top of here and you fill it up with that heat stuff and turn it on and you'll have boiling water in approximately eight minutes. Uh, this uh, That might seem a little bit overkill for some. In an emergent situation, they might turn off the natural gas uh, for breaks or anything like that. It's important to have a backup system in place. Speaking of backups, we all have our electronics and we are extremely dependent on our phones at this point. This uh, little blue thing is just a 5,000 milliamp uh, backup battery with a USB port attachment and it will charge your phone twice, two and a half times. Very important. This other item is a 15,000 milliamp uh, backup with a solar charger. Uh, so very important to have stuff like that available. Something people do not think about until they get to the ATM and they're staring at a black screen. Cash. In a lights out situation, in an emergency situation, you're not going to have credit cards, you're not going to have access to ATM. Just have a little cash on hand. Not a lot, just a little. And final item on my tour de force, food. These are Noor rice sides or pasta sides. They have rice sides as well. These run about a dollar a piece. This is a little bit of a fancier option. These are mountain house meals, very popular with hikers. You boil uh, about two cups of water and you put it in this pouch and it rehydrates. These are delicious. You can, it's very hard to say, apply delicious to dehydrated food. These qualify. These are phenomenal. But they are run about uh, eight to ten dollars a packet versus uh, one dollar for the Nor Rice sites. So, one bonus item that I highly recommend coffee. If you have never had caffeine withdrawal headache, um, you don't want it. It's horrible. Coffee, these are little packets. They're, they're very similar to a tea packet. Uh, highly recommend them. They're, they're delicious, a little sugar and creamer, and you are pretty much good to go. So this whole emergency preparedness thing, you can get quite a ways down the rabbit hole. At the end of the day, food, water, fire, shelter. Shelter can be something as simple as a garbage bag. It can be a tarp. I do recommend a length of paracord in whatever kind of uh, emergency bag you put together. But uh, more than anything, it is a positive mental attitude that is so critically important. Having this stuff together, not having to think about it. You can get all this stuff on Amazon for between two and $500, depending on how large your family is and how much you're gonna need on the food side. Uh, and how extensive you want to get on the uh, on the bag side, but this is this is stuff that, under ideal circumstances, you will never have to think about. You can put in the coat closet and never think about this ever again. But if an emergency would ha should happen and you need to leave your home or you are stranded without power for a while, uh, it's just critically important to have this stuff. Once you need it, it's not necessarily too late to get it but these circumstances are going to be so much less ideal than just going on Amazon, spending a little bit of money, doing it right the first time. Uh, once again, my name is Russell Hughes. I am from Hughes Realty Advisors. We are middle market specialists. We bring Fortune 100 expertise 
to the middle market, and we are also part-time emergency preparedness experts. Thank you so much for listening today. The most critical aspect of this video is live your life prepared, not afraid. Uh, I think my puppy's getting a little antsy there in the background. Once again, live your life prepared, not afraid. That is the critical component of this video. Get it done so that you don't have to think about it, so that you can move on with your life and know that your family is protected in an emergency situation. This is Russell Hughes from Hughes Realty Advisors. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.